going on ladies and gentlemen all right this is what I do during the week when it gets dark quick right after work and if everybody if anybody has watched my videos or they follow me which by the way if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button you know I have a full-time job and handyman work is my part-time job I haven't yet ventured into this handyman business full-time but one day it will happen all right, that's a whole different video. All right, this is what I'm doing. I, I finished my eight hour shift on my full time job and I'm heading to another one. This one here is a repeat customer. Um, repeat customers are the best. Um, it, it's something about hanging a shelf in the garage or something like that. I wasn't really, didn't get the detail, but it's a shelf. They didn't have a strong enough drill. And this gets back to uh, billing correctly for jobs. Now, it might take me, you know, a half hour. It might take me 45 minutes. But you do have to charge a minimum if you're in this handyman business or any kind of business for that matter. When you're paying taxes and insurance and everything else, you can't work by the hour. Um, to hang a shelf, what is it going to take you? Maybe an hour? You know, you can't make $50 for a job to drive and all that other stuff. So come up with a minimum. That's what I do. And I just let the customer know ahead of time. You know, I understand if they don't want to pay the minimum to do a, a small job. But the minimums are the way to go if you're running a business today. All right, let's head over to this job and let's take a look and see what we got. So I get to the job to do a shelf. Pretty basic. The only problem is, is you have to ask the customer what you're drilling into. This center block looks, it looks, uh, you know, easy. It's actually filled with cement. So, it's solid. I went through a couple of bits, believe it or not. This right here is a tire rack. Um, it's an L. You can see this thing lifts up. Um, what you do is you'll have three holes. You'll have one there, one in the middle, one at the bottom. You can see the screws there. I don't know if you can see it, the poor lighting here. What I had to do is go through a couple of bits. You want to start your first hole up there, get it level. Once you sink your first hole, you got to use lead. I used lead mollies inside the, the wall here, and it expanded very tight. And then I put my level across the top to find the other side here level. And then obviously, you want to make it plumb on both sides. All right. Then you just put it together like a puzzle. You got a chain on each side, and you got the bars in the middle adjustable. There's holes. It'll be four or five inches, but I just put it together the way the instruction showed. If the customer has a smaller tire, you obviously bring it in a little bit more and they're adjustable. And that's it. When you're not using this thing, you can actually fold it up against the wall and have it come back down when in use. So yeah, it's very important. You have at least a minimum on a job. This one took me a little bit longer than I thought because I ran into issues with the concrete. I think I even hit rebar at one time, believe it or not. But yeah, it's nice and strong. I could sit up there. I know the, these will hold me. I'm not too sure about these bars in the middle because they're kind of hollow. So I'm not going to sit on it and show you, but they're in there. Three, uh, three screws on each side, and that's it. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, make sure when you're cleaning up, especially in a dark place like this, that you get all your tools and you put them together. You know what I mean? You don't want to leave, leave anything behind. And what you do is... Leave this for the customer. We'll get rid of all this garbage, but we'll leave this on here. If they have any questions about the install, all they gotta do is look at the paper, go over to the work there, and boom. I mean, that's level. That's looking sweet like butter, kid. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Yo, Sonny. Where are you, Sonny? You hiding in there, bro? Sonny. Yeah, Sonny.